Come on, guys. I scared you. How are you feeling today? How's your leg? Good. Good? I had pins and needles yesterday. Oh dear, pins and needles? Yeah. Oh no, that's no good. And is it okay now? Yeah, but when, when it was the night and I was, I was awake and it was hurting. Freddie just said that last night he had pins and needles. Well, it's quite a difficult thing to explain, but I'm sure that you've also experienced it. It's where you lose the feeling in your limb. Limb is a noun. Every human has four limbs, two arms and two legs. But if the blood does not go to your limbs, then you get pins and needles. I think you know what I'm talking about. It makes it very difficult to walk. You kind of feel like you can't feel your foot. Well, unfortunately, Frederick suffers with pins and needles quite a lot. My transformers box. Okay. You happy with them? Yeah. What do they do? Transform. They transform. What does that mean? Trans um, they turn into something different. Hmm. To transform. To change into something different. Exactly. Marlin, darling, how are you doing? I'm alright, thank you. What yeah. are you busy with? Putting the uh, dirty dishes into the dishwasher now dishwasher amazing thing very helpful super helpful in, in the kitchen if you don't have a dishwasher i recommend that you invest in a dishwasher as soon as possible if you have space it is a godsend i'm not even religious but we can say that something is a godsend if we mean that it's really helpful or it is sent from god to help us uh, what's the plan for today go to work mm. interval run very long one 13k 2000 uh, meters fast, 1000 meters slow. <laughs> it will be a task because, as you can see, outside is raining. I don't like to run in rain, not my thing. Another thing, it's my day to cook tea. Oh, yeah, I already prepared. Look at this. What's for tea today? It's a, a vegetable, steam, steamed vegetable with a chicken breast and the spices. And I'm gonna uh, serve with uh, Grecia, Grechka, I don't know, Russian thing. <laughs> so good. Show them. Book buckwheat. We call this buckwheat in England, but in Russia you call it... Grecia, Grechka. This stuff is extremely good for your gut. There's a noun, your gut. Tummy, or your belly, but inside we call it your gut. And buckwheat. Um, or Grecia, as Valeri calls it, is definitely a part of the staple diet in Russia. The staple diet, well that means the things that grow locally to where you live. So in Britain the staple diet would be carrots, potatoes and meat, like most countries meat. But in Russia, Grecia would be what they would eat every day, buckwheat. It's extremely healthy, almost every day, and it's really cheap. Have a nice day at school. Are you looking forward to going back? Yeah. Seeing your friends? Yeah. Have a great day. Listen to your teachers, try your best, have fun, okay? What's wrong with this one? Oh dear, what is it? <laughs> Bird poo, oh dear. I found a worm. What have you found? A worm. An earthworm? Yeah. Noun. Do you like worms? Yeah. Great. They're let's, slimy. Let's, let's clean this poo off. You think worms are slimy? We'll use this kitchen roll to clean off the poo. Worms are slimy? Yeah. What does slimy mean? Smooth. Smooth? Yeah. They're slimy, yeah. They're a little bit slimy, that's an adjective. <laughs> <laughs> Go on there, little man, time for school. <laughs> 